Hey guys, Golden here, and welcome back to another weekly Fortnite mobile update video. Today, in this video, we're going to be talking about a brand new Zoom hack, stored space increasing, net debug stats affecting gameplay, and much more. If you are out of the new my channel and play Fortnite mobile or just enjoy my content, then please consider subscribing with those post notifications on. Because on this channel, I'll always keep you guys up to date with what's been going on in the Fortnite mobile community. Also, to support what I do for you guys every single Monday, please consider using code GOLDEN before every single purchase in the Fortnite item shop. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. As you all know, I don't want to waste your guys' time, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the mobile news. The first thing we have to talk about in today's video is updates. This week, we've got a pretty decent update compared to recent updates. We didn't have any mobile updates last week, so I'm super happy to see some new stuff. Like always, I'm going to be reading and explaining what we got in last week's update. First off, HUD elements such as the menu button will no longer be dragged off the entire screen in the HUD layout tool. So before, Epic allowed you to drag off things on your HUD layout tool that could mess up your game. For example, the menu button of course is needed, so they just made it so you can no longer drag off this button. For bug fixes, they improved stability by fixing GPU crashes, which is awesome. They fixed an issue that was allowing touch inputs while using a controller. So before this update, there was a bug where you could get into a console lobby and then switch to normal mobile, so... With this update, they basically fixed this bug. They fixed an issue that was preventing players from using emotes while in build slash edit mode. They finally fixed an issue that made items on the quick bar hard to drag and drop. For the past month or so, the quick bar has been feeling super buggy, so it's good to hear that they finally fixed it. They fixed an issue causing players to get stuck in edit mode when entering and confirming edits quickly. So this was a bug where if you edited and confirmed the edit too quickly, it wouldn't think you confirmed the edit and it would keep you in build mode. And finally, they fixed trajectory line for throwable items always being visible when using a glider on mobile. In terms of fixes and additions, not a bad update. Now for some things that weren't mentioned in the patch notes. We finally got a brand new optional FPS indicator. However, I am warning you, a bunch of people have been complaining that the FPS counter has been causing a bunch of lag. So I would only recommend having it on if you have a somewhat high-end device. We also got the swing tool button and a preview wrap button when previewing items. This addition surprised me because I remember a couple update videos ago we talked about how Epic said they didn't have this feature in the game due to performance, but I guess they were somehow able to add it. They also changed the default game rotation, so when you load up a game, sometimes it's flipped upside down. And finally, something super small, they changed the exit vehicle icon to the confirm edits icon, which is super weird. This update was pretty good in my opinion. We got a bunch of features that only PC and console had before like the swing tool button, so overall a pretty decent update. We also got a lot of bug fixes, which is awesome. So, so far, the future for Fortnite mobile is looking good. However, with the launch of this update, a bunch of people were complaining about lag and hitching. However, within hours, Epic released an update to fix these issues. So great job there. Now I know this isn't something new for mobile, but with this update they also gave controller players the option to choose custom sensitivities for building and editing structures. So now that means mobile is the only platform without this option. However, I have a good feeling that this is going to change because if you guys remember a while ago when Ducky visited the Epic Games headquarters, he said he talked about a bunch of things that he thought would be great additions to the game. And one of the things he talked about was different sensitivities for building and editing, so I wouldn't be surprised if this feature gets added in the future. Now in terms of next week's update, all they've said is that they're going to be fixing the bug where you can't toggle on and off voice chat while spectating, but I'm sure we can expect a bunch of other updates as well. Next in the news, zooming hacks. A lot of you watching this who play Fortnite mobile will probably play on an iPhone, and on that tiny screen it can be hard to see people sometimes, and it makes it even worse if you put your 3D resolution low. So this can be a huge disadvantage against other players. Well good news, this week Roland GT discovered a method to basically stretch out your crosshair and make it easier to hit shots. Sorry though Android, this is sadly an iOS only method. Since Roland actually didn't show a tutorial on how to do this, I'm going to be giving you guys a step by step tutorial on how you guys can do this. So in order to do this, you guys are going to want to head on over to settings, then head over to general, then you're going to want to go to accessibility. Tap on the one that says zoom, 
turn that on and now you should see this little box and you're gonna want to tap this box with three fingers twice Now tap resize lens and just resize it to the size you want. Now hop in the game and enjoy the brand new zoom. Be sure to check out Roland GT's videos for more gameplay with it. Next in the news, storage space. When you first download Fortnite Mobile, it's usually about 3 gigabytes. However, as you're forced to update the game more and more, within months, your game will be nearly 10 gigabytes. So someone finally decided to bring this to Epic's attention by posting this image, showing that Fortnite had nearly taken up 10 gigabytes of storage. Luckily, Epic saw this post and responded by saying this. Looking into this, thanks for the report. So good news to people with lower storages because we can definitely be expecting some changes to the amount of space Fortnite takes up. Next in the news, net and debug stats. So in Fortnite Mobile there's a setting under HUD where you can enable the ability to see how much ping you're getting and stuff like that. And a lot of people have this feature enabled including myself. However recently people have been complaining about the fire button not working when it's placed near the net debug stats. I'll show you a quick video example. So as you can see here, the person pressed down on his fire button, however for whatever reason it didn't shoot his pump. And I've actually been experiencing the same bug. So I definitely recommend moving your fire button away from your net debug stats until they fix this bug. There's some bugs that honestly just make no sense to me. Next in the news. Aim trainers. I know this isn't Fortnite Mobile, but you guys have been spamming me about these new aim trainers. So if you don't know what aim trainers are, well, it's in the name, it'll train your aim. A popular aim trainer for PC is called Kovacs, and a bunch of PC streamers use it to improve their aim in Fortnite. However, mobile hasn't really had a way to practice aim other than using creative maps. By the way, shout out to Elite Isaiah. So that can make it harder for us to practice our aim. But luckily, some app developers have been releasing aim trainers, including Winter Camp and Aim Trainer. So boys, make sure you download these apps. I know Winter Camp is released already and Aim Trainer is going to be released soon. So mobile players are going to be getting a lot better with their aim. The last things we have to talk about in today's video. Guys, I don't know what's going on, but we haven't been getting any news recently. I don't know if it's because I'm not working hard enough, but I just think it's because we don't have anything to talk about. Anyways, once again, we're going to be ending this video off with a couple things that didn't get their own news sections but still deserve to be said. If you edit too fast, you can mess up your editing, which can be super annoying. There's a bug with auto run where if you try to use it immediately after jumping out of the battle bus, it won't work. And finally, leaving the Fortnite app sometimes crashes the game. This can be super annoying if you want to just quickly check a message, go back to your app, and then bam, Fortnite crashed. Anyways guys, that's all the news we have to talk about in today's video. If you made it this far, then I'm assuming you liked the video, so be sure to leave a like before you leave. Also, if you did enjoy this video, you'll probably enjoy the rest of mine, so please consider subscribing with those post notifications on. Also, consider using code GOLDEN in the Fortnite item shop to support this channel. Join the GOLDEN squad discord to hang out with me and some of the mobile community the link will be near the top of the description be sure to follow me on twitter at golden yt this has been golden do with this information as you will and i'll see you in the next one Asai.